Hello, it's day 211 on the Nano Reef Tank. And as you can see, things are growing nicely here. We've had a few changes. Um, first off is uh, my little purple and orange Royal Grama fish. He's been in a tank for oh, about a month or two now, I think. He's getting along well with the uh, the clownfish. They all kind of hang out together. They don't bug each other or anything like that. We had a few things that died off. Um, you can see the mushroom right there. That's the last one that I've had. That I have. I had uh, another set. I think if you look back in uh, one of the prior videos. They didn't do too well. They kind of just died off, and I, I think the uh, clownfish kept poking at it, or at the two other mushrooms, and I don't know, just kind of ate it, poked it apart. But uh, this one here has been doing good right there. The other mushrooms are doing good. Flourishing. They're multiplying. You can see there's a couple smaller ones here and there poking out. And uh, this guy here has been growing quite a bit since uh, since the last video. As a matter of fact, both of these, uh, I guess they're star polyps. The one up top here has been spreading nicely all over the top of that rock. And the branching one here which I really like because it's just so colorful, um, has been branching nicely. Um, it actually started out, if you look at one of the uh, earlier videos, as just two pieces, and uh, they've been branching out all over the place, so much so that I actually trimmed a trimmed branch and put it over here uh, just a couple weeks ago. And uh, it's been settling in here. I can tell it's already starting to kind of grow a bit. So hopefully that branches out over on that side of the tank too. Adds a lot of nice color and movement on the tank. I think in one of my videos I talked about this little polyp or star polyp and uh, it uh, at some point, I don't know, I just it goes through a cycle or something. There, there was like a couple weeks where it just uh, closed up and would not open up. I tried a few different things. I moved it around. Uh, eventually, it settled in right here in this spot, uh, and it's been doing well. It's not as colorful as the other one, um, so I'm kind of keeping it all by itself here because I really don't want it to go spreading around. Um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do in this tank is uh, I just have a really nice, colorful tank. So there's color, colorful fish, and uh, and I'm encouraging uh, you know these two guys. They look really great under the uh, the blue lights in the evening. They really like fluoresce. They're almost like glowing in the dark, so it, it looks really nice. Uh, one of the latest additions I've got is this uh, Monty coral. Um, he's placed right there for now. Well, I don't know if I'll move him around or we'll see how he's doing. He's actually a bit more red than uh, appears in this video. Just the uh, video is kind of washing them out a little bit. Uh, one of the other things that I had was I had an infestation of um, slugs. I, I can't remember the exact name, but I think the, the slang term for them is uh, the nudies, which uh, I forgot they, they've got some technical name that starts with nudie or something like that. Um, but the, the first thing I noticed was that uh, the zoanthids right here, which used to be sitting up there, um, they all closed up. This whole little cluster of them just closed up and would not open up at all um, for like two weeks. Uh, if I go around to the side here, you can see I've got more of them here. Uh, this is a different variety, but uh, they started out as a little bunch right there um, and then started to spread really nice, but then sort of closed up also at the same time. It would not open up. And then uh, every couple of uh, days when I first uh, check the tank early in the morning, it's still kind of uh, light or dark out. Um, I would catch a, 
little slug crawling across the front of the glass and I'd squish it. You know, I must have hitchhiked on, uh, on something that I put in here. Uh, I started doing a little research and reading up on them and, uh, you know, it turns out that they're pretty much a pest and they love to eat zoanthids. Um, as a matter of fact, a couple of times I would catch one crawling along on top of uh, those, the zoanthid here, just munching along on it. I couldn't figure out where they were coming from, you know, because every time I'd see one, which was every couple of days, I'd squish it and pull it out of the tank, you know. And uh, it turns out I was doing a water change uh, and I looked into my filter, which I'll go up top here and take a look at. I never really paid too much attention to cleaning the filter, but when I did, you know, I pulled it, you know, unplug it, turn it off, it drains out a little bit, and I noticed inside of there were hundreds, and I'm not exaggerating, like literally like two or three hundred probably um, nudies, and they look like little tiny. Um, fuzzy snails like really tiny like a, a, an eighth of an inch or something but they were all hatching inside of the filter so i pulled the whole filter unit out and took it outside and cleaned it all out with fresh water which i think kills them pretty much instantly but uh um, cleaned the entire filter out so hopefully uh, i have uh stopped that infestation i haven't seen any since i've done that and that was maybe three weeks ago or something like that one of the other things that I also did was uh, these zoanthids are, uh, they're not attached to anything. Uh, they were attached to the top here. But when I moved them, um, a couple of them got ripped off. And you can see there's still some left right there on the side. So they're flourishing there in their own little semi-colony. But I took these guys out and I did uh, a freshwater dip along with some revive. Now... From reading up, it sounds like freshwater kills the nudies pretty much quickly and doesn't really harm the zoanthids. So um, just fresh water, dipped them in there for maybe four or five minutes, something like that, along with some revive, which uh, I'll go underneath my tank here. And this stuff here, I use this to dip every coral that I uh, buy very good stuff and it pretty much kills anything that's uh that's in the tank or that's on the uh not in the tank you don't put it in the tank you dip it outside the tank with that before you uh put put whatever your uh, coral is that you're dipping before you put it back in the tank focus and um that usually when you dip that it uh, it will kill anything that comes along uh, you know, with your new coral from uh, from the from the pet shop, and it worked pretty good. Every time I've dipped anything, any time I got any kind of a coral and I dipped it, I uh, I always have some kind of weird flatworms crawling out of here and there. Um, so definitely, I'm an advocate now of absolutely dipping everything you ever put in because even with dipping i obviously got an infestation of something that survived uh one of the other things i did i read up and i bought some of this flatworm exit uh and this is just a little bottle inside of here uh, and what you do is you treat the tank um, for a 10 gallon tank here it was uh just eight drops total so it's like that's what the instructions say. It's like four drops per five gallons. Um, and that's basically chemical warfare against uh, the nudies there. Even though I had cleaned them all out of the uh, filter um, and I dipped my, my one coral here that I definitely knew they were munching on, uh, I wanted to make sure I got them all out from uh, the entire tank, you know, especially the other... The other zoanthids over here, I, you know, obviously they're on the rock. I can't pull them out. And I did notice at least one time that, that I saw one crawling around on there. Um, and as you can see, they've all opened up again. So I think I've gotten rid of all of the, uh, all of the nudies with, uh, with just cleaning out the filter and using the, uh, 
using the freshwater dip and using the flatworm exit. Um, it's really made for flatworms again, uh, hence the name. But uh, if you read up on it, it'll it'll actually kill the nudies also.